Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hi, I am Larand and uh, yes, this is part 3 of uh, Special Fishing Areas and we're gonna go to Shadow Isle this time. Uh, so a while back it had a large remake to make things easier and uh, yeah, Shadow Isle with this Special Fishing Area, it also received a huge update. Because they removed an entire island. <laughs> the pirate cove is gone. So because of that a lot of things has changed. And we're going to take a look to see the changes. And I believe things has become much much easier here. Uh, it's going to be interesting. We're going to do it the long run first. And then we're going to compare it to make also the short run. So that's going to be interesting. Because I think this might be the biggest change of all the SFAs actually. Because uh, yeah, this goes fairly quick now. And like in previous episodes, I will use my alternative character. The one without game passes. So I cannot sprint fast. I don't have the twice run speed. Which is important so you know that you can also do it. Because this is just as it is without paying any robux at all <laughs> so let's get over to that island and let's uh, yeah find out what has changed okay and here we are at shadow isle so if you're interested also in knowing what more changed in general when it came to sfa update i would uh, advise you to check episode one of this series because uh, then i also explain uh, things like uh, the saving behaviors that has also changed we're not going to talk about that now we're gonna go directly to the quest easiest way is just to open the map here you have the quest available just click it and you see treasure cove go to shadow isle and talk to gilbert and here is gilbert <laughs> excellent so let's see hi there so there's some secret cavern behind this pile of rubble here Okay, but he doesn't seem to find a way inside. Uh, so up for a challenge, yeah, sure. And of course, we're gonna use the TNT. But the thing is that now it's no longer located at Pirate Cove. So now it's actually on these islands up in a cabin up there, as you can see with a quest marker. So it's locked and we're gonna go up there and get the TNT and bring it back here to unlock it. I think that's it. <laughs> that's fairly short but all right so let's see uh, gonna swim over here you can otherwise take the long route around everywhere but i usually just go up here take the elevator the lift like this sometimes you can fall off but yeah i <laughs> i managed to stay uh, stay on the platform this time sometimes i fall off it's a fun elevator by the way you should try to explore it because you can uh, yeah you can have some fun behavior uh, from that platform regardless here we have the cabin you're gonna need to pick the lock and uh, then you're gonna go inside here but you can't skip the lock and just go directly here so that doesn't work <laughs> which is perfectly fine so pick the lock and uh, by moving the mouse, you change the position of the lockpick. And when you have a position that you want to try, you press E on PC. And as you can see, it's uh, yeah, not much of a reaction, so that's not an anywhere close. And as you can see over here, it's a little bit more. And uh, there we had full green bar, meaning that we unlocked the door. We go inside. It's a very nicely decorated house, by the way. I like the look of this house. Really nice. Well made. We go down into the basement. And here we have the TNT. The TNT is also locked behind here. So we need to pick another lock. Same procedure. Find some positions. As you can see over here, it's slightly more. Then you just make small adjustments from there and then you have unlocked it as well. And when you pick up the TNT, you're going to start a timer. And uh, when that timer runs out, the TNT is going to blow. Okay, so we're going to pick up the TNT. Don't jump from high altitude with this TNT and don't drop it as well because then it will blow uh, and you need to pick up a new one. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to walk with this just to show you how much time you actually have. You don't need to rush or anything. Uh, and uh, you see the gaps on these bridges. Don't worry about the gaps because if you go directly in the middle, you can see there is 
material underneath. That way you will not fall off. I will, I will most likely not even do a single jump here. Just to show you that it's very, very, <laughs> I would say very easy. So we just take this on, on a very long walk. And uh, yeah, actually, it's not really that long because uh, we are almost done. Uh, and uh, when we reach the goal, we will see Gilbert running away because he doesn't like TNTs. <laughs> We're gonna drop it. Apparently, I do like TNT, so I don't run away. So I take that TNT directly into my face. Thank you very much. <laughs> and the magic rocks has disappeared and Gilbert is happy and runs inside. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and then it takes one hour until these rocks has well grown back I guess because it's blocked again <laughs> but that's the only thing you need to do to unlock this SFA so very very short very very easy and uh, yeah Gilbert is over there he's having a good time watching the treasures <laughs> I think he, he he just wants uh, the gold and he looks happy. Yeah, all right. So that's the long run. And I believe that it's not really much of a difference uh, when you do this the second time. But we're going to find out. So we're going to do this one more time. But uh, we need to make the timer to reset first. So we just uh, wait for one hour. And of course, you don't need to wait one hour <laughs> in this video. So I will just stop the recording and I will get back to you. Yeah, okay, so here we are. Uh, one hour has passed and uh, yeah, Gilbert uh, is ready again, I suppose. The rocks, they came rumbling down again, so they didn't just magically grow or reappear. So <laughs> let's see how things have changed. So now it's going to be quicker, much quicker. We, <laughs> I think the other one was quick enough, but okay. Uh, quest available. Pick the lock to gain... Oh, okay, so you, you, <laughs> it's shorter. You don't have to talk to Gilbert. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I suppose we can take the short route again by swimming. Because, uh, yeah, I don't really think this needs any more introduction how to do this. Because I think the rest will be the same. So we take the lift again. See if we can stay on the platform. So far, so good. A little bit of crazy jump. Let's try to pick the lock. And uh, let's see. Uh, find a good location. Somewhere. Somewhere somewhere here. There we go. Perfect. Then we open the door. We go inside. We go down. Just like the first time. We pick the second lock. See how fast we can do that. Somewhere here. Close to... Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> this goes fast. And we can pick up the TNT. We exit the cabin and uh, let's see, where are we? <laughs> uh, we go down here again. This time I can run because, uh, yeah, you've seen that you can actually walk. You've got enough time to do that. I'm not going to risk it by doing any crazy climbs or anything like that. So I will just run down uh, <laughs> to the entrance again. And I think uh, ah, this might be one of the shortest one to the most people because uh, no tricky jumps, no nothing. Just this TNT and I believe, yeah, Gilbert is running again. <laughs> and I'm going to take that TNT barrel, yeah, straight to the face again. Lovely. <laughs> and uh, Gilbert is running inside, but this time I'm going to be quicker than him. But I think he's cheating, so he's already he is already over there. <laughs> hacker. Gilbert is a hacker. <laughs> okay, so that's how you do it. And I believe we're gonna get a new fish here also. Yeah, new fish variation because I have never fished here before. Excellent! That's all. But before we're gonna quit this episode, I just want to mention something. Since I reached 2000 subscribers, and I might actually do a special video about that, I don't know for sure yet, but uh, there has been people, actually quite a lot of people, asking if this shirt is for sale, because it hasn't been for sale. So I have decided to put it up for sale for a limited time. <laughs> I want to give it away, because I don't really want to take Robux for this shirt. But uh, since Roblox always wants to earn some Robux, 
<laughs> I have to put a price, so I have put it on the lowest possible price of 5 Robux. <laughs> but I have already noticed that someone has already bought one of these shirts, because I have already put it up for sale since I think it's like one day uh, ago. And I haven't decided for how long I will have it for sale, but uh, maybe until I reach, uh, say... Yeah, let's decide it right now. Until I reach 3000 subscribers, then this shirt will be gone. Yes, so grab the opportunity if you want it. Well, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator and other Roblox games. Please subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. And uh, have a nice day. Bye everyone.